Hi there, this is new video from GraphQL micro learning course and today we will learn how to make authentication and authorization on GraphQL server and use protected routes. As usually I create a new folder and install needed dependencies. Let's open server file and add cookie parser middleware there. And also let's create playground setting to include HTTP cookie to each request. In some browsers it doesn't work from configuration file, so you can make the changes from playground settings. Now I create new auth module by copying hello module. I change accordingly module ID. Also, I make small refactoring for convenient resolver import. Then I create appropriate re-exports. Finally, I add new module to schema. Now I create basic login mutation with email and password as mandatory arguments and email as a return value. Also, I need an array of mocked users. Each user will have ID, name, email and password fields. And let's add a user's array and fulfill all the fields for Iron Man. Each user will be of user type. The passwords are usually stored decrypted. You can use any available online service for that. I enter password and save decrypted string. Now I need to re-export user type from the module. I add a secret string to .un file that will be used to generate authentication token. Now let's create auth resolver of appropriate type. It accepts email and password as arguments. Each user should be present in user's array. Otherwise, we throw an error that user is not found. For the found user, the passwords should match. Otherwise, we throw another error. Let's import necessary libraries such as bcrypt and JSON web token from NPM packages. And finally, if user is totally valid, then we create a JSON web token hashed with a secret string. In success case, we will return user email. JSON web token will be passed to client as a secure HTTP only cookie. At the moment, this is a OWASP security project official recommendation. Response object can be passed to the resolver via context. In context file, let's create a function that will pass through express request and response objects. Also, I enhance the type with the properties. So now it's available in resolver. Let's proceed with context. Context function is fired before any resolver execution, so it's a good place to verify the token and pass through a user if he exists to resolvers. Also, don't forget to add a type for a user and to import context function. Let's create a new folder called middlewares with checkout middleware inside. Let's create a simple function and do all necessary re-exports as usually. Checkout middleware has access to context. The types for context between two packages are not matching, so for ease of use let's fix them like this. 
The middleware will throw error if user does not exist or simply proceed further. Let's protect with authorization search hero request. Do it by importing the existing checkout middleware. Now search hero request is forbidden, though hello request is still available. Let's log into the system by entering email and password for Iron Man. Login is successful and now we can safely search for heroes. And this is it for today. Stay tuned!